So Super Lap Battle is tomorrow, oh, yeah. and Brandon and I are <laughs> not quite ready. Um, not at all. Haven't really done much of anything to uh, make sure we're actually fully prepared for it. Yeah. I mean, we put some parts on our cars, but we haven't done anything to really get them prepared. All my broken parts are still broken. I was just gonna fix them at the track, like after a couple runs tomorrow. <laughs> And that's what happens when you have a really busy job. But we have some people here who are way more prepared than us. Yeah. I'm gonna button this up and then I'll come meet you guys. Okay. Okay, cool. Kakao, why haven't you been on the show in a long time? Because I hate the public. Oh, stop it. So Sally and Marcos hit me up this morning, said they were on their way to California. So naturally I uh, made them stop by the donut garage. What's up? Hey! Welcome back. Hello. Hi, Internet. What's up, man? <laughs> hey. Uh, what are you, look, what are you sciencing over here? We are here? trying to measure this, to make sure it's within the rule, because we just got a new scooter. Because uh, for our class, we have to stick with uh, five inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my fucking Man, you guys are serious about this stuff. Yeah. Okay, man. one thing real quick, real quick, real quick. Check out the heat on her feet. Woo! 90s. What are those? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this thing looks fresh. They just brought by their Subarus. Couple of bad daddies. Bad little, little, little vape convention. <laughs> <laughs> here to blow clouds. The clouds. <laughs> says, says Guy Fieri right here. <laughs> it's not blonde, bro. <laughs> Did I miss everything already? Uh, we were just doing tandem donuts oh, with the Subarus. Dang. Yeah, we stopped just when we saw you pull up. That's not nice. So we're all going up to Super Lab Battle, and they were on their way out from Arizona, so told them to bring these cars by. You're gonna break, stretch the legs out on your old. I don't know how stretched out they're gonna get. Gonna stretch the, gonna stretch they're a little tight. They're a little tight. Are you gonna get worked? Oh yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. He's, this dude. Uh, we're gonna take him to Gapplebee's with that. Gapplebee's. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fast as shit. I like that. Marcos, Marcos's deal is that he goes to the track and runs one lap, sets the fastest time, and then just then just kicks yeah. off the yeah. socks and chills and nice. sandals for the rest of the day. While the rest of us jabronis sit there and try to chip away like hundredths of a second off our time to end up <laughs> like sound. 20 seconds slower than, it's cool. than this dude. It's cool. It yeah, sounds like one of my track days. You know, I get one lap, something breaks, and then I just hang out all day. No, nothing breaks. He just, he accomplishes. Same, tomato, tomato. Yeah, it's the same yeah. shit. Efficiency. Oh, exactly. Efficiency. Did you just ask if it works? No. You think people just put that on for fun? For looks. Oh, wait. Here. Cut to all the footage of SEMA. <laughs> just, yeah. just. Actually linked to our 60 minute episode of SEMA. Here we go. I mean, it, it works, right? What diet are you on that you could do that? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Chassis mount, bro. Yeah. Try that with your APR wing. I actually wanted APR arrow, so. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's okay. <laughs> well, let's talk about this thing real quick. Okay. So what's the deal with this car? 
Well, it's kind of fast. We've been pretty quick with it all year. So, when you say we, you mean you? Well, me. Well, me behind the wheel, but we as the team. Okay. But that's the, that's the biggest snail thing. performance. Yeah, snail performance AZ and snail performance Norcal. Oh, I didn't know they had two locations. Yeah. I wonder if I should call the school and complain that the kids are being really loud and, and ruining our audio. Is this how they feel when we do burnouts and stuff? I'm pretty sure the kids are like, wow, I can't even learn right now because you guys are being loud. So. And we can't even make videos because they're being loud out on recess. They're kids. They're playing. Let them play. Oh, all right. All right, fine. Back to this. So what do we got? What are we working with here? It's IAG Performance, stage two and a half short block, um, built bottom end. Garrett GTX 3076. Bill bottom and it's still a 2.5? Still 2.5, yeah. Stock heads, stock cam, stock valve train. Um, the Gen 2 3076 by Honeywell Garrett. Goddamn. Uh, ETS rotated kit, Tomei exhaust manifold, equal length. You lose that rumble, but you gain that power up top. Equal length sounds awesome on yes, Subaru, though. Thank you. In my opinion. Finally. Finally. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all IAG goods, fuel rails, ID 2000 injectors, E85. Turbo Smart handles all the boost and fuel stuff with their fuel pressure regulator, blow up valve, external wastegate, Piper Cross air filter. This thing is sick. <laughs> They're kind of a new company to the States. They're big over in the UK, but they'll custom size anything you want. Any filter application, they'll make it. Okay, sick. It flows way better than any KN or anything like that. So, really good. So, what stuff. type of power are you making on the setup? High Boost makes 580 to all four wheels. Wait, what's high boost? B? Oh, 33, yeah, okay. 33 PSI. But we haven't, we haven't so used it's, that it's, map yet. So it's bo the bottom end's built, sleeved. Uh, is it pinned closed or? Deck. Closed oh, it's closed deck, deck. okay. Not, not pinned, just a, just a stage two and a half. So what, is the, uh, what is the closed deck block out of? Um, it's just, so what they do is they take a factory two and a half liter case, they machine their billet insert and fit it to the stock block. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so it starts life as an OE Subaru case half. Okay. Yeah. And then IAG puts their magic for for the it. people that don't know, explain what happens to stock STI open deck blocks when you make anything more than completely stock boost levels. Well, there's a funny story. So like if you to, even put an exhaust on your car, well, or okay, okay. Not or if you bad. even go onto Naziok with yeah. a stock bottom end, what happens? Well, <laughs> you're probably going to spin a bearing, or you're going to do what I did back in April. At crack a Ringland. Ball. Well, Ringland, or you're going to crack a cylinder wall. We went out in April at Button Willow, first lap. Went to go cross start finish, first corner, smoke everywhere. I was like, that's cool. Limp it through. We come in, pull the oil, full of coolant. Well, you only like doing one lap anyway, so. Yeah, well, that's not, all you that, need. not at that point in time. <laughs> that's why we're going back tomorrow to kick some ass and fix that. What time are you shooting for this weekend? Um, or this week? Well, I want the street all wheel drive record, which is a 49.8, and then the street class record is a 48.7. I think the car's got a 47 in it, maybe a 46. Which All right. Is ridiculous. Man, that's that's sick. Yeah, that'd be that'd be next level for a street car. Well, I hope you brought your driving shoes. He's uh, <laughs> so much on point. Yo, Hurt, how do you feel about this dude making 580 horsepower while beating your footwear comfort? 580 horsepower? You're not allowed to race in those, though. With no socks. Look at that. Let's wait. <laughs> what do we got going on suspension wise? Uh, suspension. Well, is... what about because cacao is so interesting? Let's talk about aero first. Okay. Uh, chassis mount splitter built by my man over there, Ken Swin, racing and development. There you go. Designed it, mounted it to the chassis. We've done 160 plus in it, doesn't, doesn't skip a beat. And then on the back, we've got the chassis mounted wing. Obviously, I can stand on it. I'm 195 pounds. It's okay. We're not going to judge you. Yeah. Yeah, Let's get the scales. Oh, Let's get the scales out here. <laughs> wow. wow. Maybe more after Korean barbecue. But <laughs> no, it's uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, this car is essentially a bolt-on car. Everything on this car, with, maybe with the exception of the splitter, anybody can buy. Bolt-on. Yeah. Everything bolt -on. everything technically bolts yeah, on. Yes. You just make some revisions and you can bolt it on. Yeah, so you bolt everything on. True, but anybody can buy these parts. That's okay. The this car's nothing, nothing special. Super super yeah. It's been able to drive it pretty well. This and this is, this is still a, a street... Still a street car. Well, I gotta get the new tags in the mail, but it is still a street car. Wow, okay. That's cool. So, so street legal, driving on the street. Yeah, you'll see it out on the weekends in Phoenix. Out. Still have AC though? No. Oh. No AC, but you have to have a blower motor for street class that functions, and you have to have a radio that turns on. So okay. We can get kind of oh. hype on, on grid, but not that much. So, this thing's pretty competitive for being a pretty, pretty modest build, right? Yeah. And it still only has a half cage. 
full interior from the B pillars forward, right? Uh, yeah, AIM Sport race dash. We can log all the vitals of the car, oil pressure, fuel pressure, oil temp, water temp. Spare tire mount. Spare tire is sick. Yeah, oh, you gotta keep the stickers. Flock yeah. dash, Flock which is it. sick, Ooh. dude. Yeah. Seriously, That's that was up. one of the little things that means nothing to this car that I absolutely <laughs> love. It looks so good. Yeah. Sweet. So what else is done chassis-wise? Suspension, um, chassis. So suspension, handled by Man Engineering. It's the Type 25 inverted coilover. These are the secret sauce Jan spec. Shut up. Oh, I'm so used to that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are these are secret sauce spec coilovers. Um, all the suspension and bushings are handled by Super Pro. Sway bars, end links, control arms, roll center kit, anti-lift kit, all those bits. Nice. Um, we just converted it to 5 by one 14.3, and then uh, Ken let me borrow his Advan GTs in the front, and then the Volk CE40s in the rear. I like uh, these. I like the GTs in the front. They look nice. <laughs> I didn't know how white was going to look, but... The white looks really good. good. I'm pretty happy with that. And then uh, factory Brembo's front and rear, Ray Vestos pads, Giro disc, two-piece rotors. This car stops. That ETS front mount just keeps it clean up front. Hell yeah. What does this thing weigh? That I don't know. I'd really? To, I'd have to guess like right around 3,000 or so. So you don't corner balance your car? It's not corner. That's a crazy thing. We could go even faster if we corner balanced it and put a little bit more into it. But it's been, the, the formula this year has worked. So So you just set up your alignment and then go? Yeah, pretty aggressive Interesting. alignment. And we just we just run it, adapt around it. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, a lot, lot more room to work with for next season. Nice. Faster. What's up? So how bad is Sally gonna whoop your ass? Probably pretty bad. Can you take bets on this? Yeah, a little bet. I got 20 on Sally. Well, I got Comment two. below on who do you think goes faster I at, uh, at Button Willow, me or Sally. <laughs> For your bets on her, she's driven the track like a hundred times. I've watched two YouTube videos. <laughs> you should just drift it, man. I know you're a drifter now. <laughs> you don't want to admit it to the we're, people. We're bringing it. We're bringing him to the dark side. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's always. I've been always gripped. been gripped. I'm, I'm, gripped. I'm trying to. My dark side. I'm gonna build an entire car just so I can go drive with her. I need. A, I, I don't have any in-house friends who want to drift. What? What friends? In here. <laughs> Nobody here wants to drift with me. So I, I do. So I do. But we can't no. afford to have a well, drift and a drift car. Yeah, I know, just but take the front axles out. That just, the if you don't have a car, then that means you don't want to drift with me. <laughs> then it has a real. I got a real-wheel drive car. car. I'm ready to go to Grange car. with you, man. I'm down. Let's go. Hey, uh, comment below if you want me to smash Vinny's door. In. Oh. So that's my only fear is I really yeah. like having a nice well, car. Guess what? You better drive fast because <laughs> if, if you're going to drive with me, I'm going to... But what we found out last time when we did cross cards, I need to chase you. Just to get you warmed up because you don't know the track. Yeah, that's true. But when you know the track... We'll do it. We just need to go. We'll go. All right. This. Yeah. Back to this thing. Not me. <laughs> back, back, back to this thing. John, so can you take us to walk around this, so this leg? I'm really stoked to be walking. Well, I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling yeah. this look again. How's the leg yeah. doing? It's a it's, jumping jack. Oh, yeah. No, I can't. It still hurts really bad. Oh. But I, I, can, I can walk now. Yeah. I can move it like this now. I can put weight on it. So it's amazing. There you go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm moving. Sorry. So Sally was actually at Grid Life with Hurt and got almost as much track time. Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was pretty savage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true, though, it's true. She definitely got more track time because she, she had the opportunity to crash. I didn't even give the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's been on camera here a bunch since the Hoonigans Wanted. So we're able to rip on her. We know her well enough we could, we could give her some shit. I'm all right. <laughs> but you had a little bit of a, an incident. Tell us what happened real quick. At Grid Life, I, I sent it and I sent it a little too hard and I tapped the wall at Road Atlanta on corner one. But I really don't know what happened though because it looks fine to me. Oh, it looks great. Nice. I so, realized there was a seat. Sit the, in it. The, the, oh, the kirky? Get in that seat. Get in no way. Uh, I, Mm. Tape measure? Oh, that looks horrible. Why is that even Why, in there? Are you torturing people? Oh, you gotta have a pack gross. Sheet. You pay six pounds, well, can we explain this? The street pounds. for the class. What is it? Everything, everything has to be for a street car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way. The brine method is you dive into it. Whoa. Oh my God. I don't think you're. I don't think you're gonna pass street class after Hurt takes that seat out. <laughs> Does you cover what you just got yourself a 280 pound ballast because oh, he ain't oh getting God. out. Oh. Wow. Wow. wow, how do you look so small in here? 
You look like a child. <laughs> I'm never getting out. Just finish All the right. pill break. Yeah, let's go get the engine hoist. This is my home now. Thanks, Sally. <laughs> Coming to Button Willow with us. Make sure not to hit any walls at Button Willow. So, is this an STI or WRX? It's a WRX. Did you do a 114 swap or are these I'm not 100? That cool. What's a 114 no. swap? So, I'll let her explain. No, you get it. Yeah. Yes. So WRXs have 5x100, SCI is 5x114, which is the better hub, has a better wheel bearing. Um, when you have 5x100, it causes the wheel bearings to go out a lot more when you track the car, which you have a lot of pad knockback or, I guess, in the in the braking system, and then you have a lot of issues. Yeah, but it's okay if the wheel bearing goes back because you got three other wheels. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know how that works? It's a 2007 Super Ooh. WRX. Damn, that Cosworth intake manifold, though. Yeah. How do you feel about her stunting on you with this intake manifold? If I had the cylinder heads that she has, I could probably make 700 horsepower. So, Van, this is my plan. I can't be as fast as Marcos, so I definitely look cooler than he does. <laughs> this is, this is, yeah, she's right. Her, her car looks better. This is, this, is, this, is real, this is real Voltex. This is the real deal. Oh, man. So you're hot boying in the time attack world? Yes. So it's a 2.5 liter closed deck block by IG Performance. It has the secret sauce heads, ported, polished, CNC'd, big valves, bigger cams. You're giving away the sauce. You're giving well, away all the it secrets. It works. <laughs> Where's the push to start? Oh, shit. No push start? Street class, man. You got to have a key. That takes money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this takes money, but. You got NRG and Sparko I, I know you got money. <laughs> she got real TEs too. Yeah. And, and, real and, and, real and real Voltex. And real Voltex. And Arrow Catch. And Arrow Catch. God. Hmm. So what else you got going on chassis wise? Well, have you dynoed it yet? I have. What it, power did it make? It made 406 on Ignite Racing Fuel E85. What turbo? We didn't even talk about what turbo it is. Okay, so. How much boost, what turbo? It makes about 23 pounds of boost. Damn. It's on a 20G Cobb turbo. Oh, okay. With their Cobb front mount intercooler kit. So it must have a pretty fat power band though. Um, it, it definitely gets on the, off the line really well. Yeah. It has a lot of torque. It makes about as much torque as it does power. No, well, that's what's nice about Subaru yes. is they do that. I, so I have the same coilovers pretty much that he has, the Type 25 inverted coilovers by Man Engineering. And it pretty much has the entire catalog that Super Pro, like, has for the, the entire catalog you just went down the list click click <laughs> this like is fast car, and furious. Car, literally car, everything they make for this car is on it it's got a car phone <laughs> <laughs> the cob limited hello. edition hello hello cob i need 600 horsepower right <laughs> i need 600 pizza stat no nah, i'm just tuning your car plus just speed. uh boost plus 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 yeah yeah max boost <laughs> max timing hey. Um, uh, keep it lean though. Lean is mean. Yeah, but I'm gonna <laughs> minus some fuel. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 1090 power ratio, so it's real wheel drive. Oh, oh, sick. Yeah, I can do that with this. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Thanks, Hurt. Touched by Hurt. Stroked by Hurt. Oh. <laughs> Where did you come from, Kato? Yeah, he just. I've poof. I've exported right now, so I came back here just to talk shit about me. Yeah. <laughs> so All what right, are we gonna do with to these the things? Track. So space race. Just saying. You have two cars here. You got here. two cars that are pretty similar. Yes. And Sally's got a smaller turbo, so maybe she'll smoke him. <laughs> We're crashing into a wall. You Marcus, are... you get that over there. I get. The you guys got good brakes, good <laughs> yeah, tires, brakes. good cars. Yeah. You're fine. You're warming your car up. Yes. Oh, see, oh. Have you guys ever drag raced before? Do you guys drag have race? Have you guys ever drag raced each other? No. Do you ever drag race? Negative. Negative. All right. And then. So, and you got the proper footwear. Yeah, yeah those are good clutch shoes. Yeah, good, yeah. good. Side seven and go. So, Sally says you never drag raced before. Have you ever drag raced before? Once. Once. Awesome. Sally, are you ready? Sally, you're letting him have it. You're sandbagging. I didn't know he was gonna clutch. You told me he wasn't going to. Oh! 
So you were playing mind games. You said you weren't gonna launch. That's the first time I've ever launched the car, like ever. That came out pretty good. What are you doing? I can put a launch control. Are you ready? That's that's it. So that's he got it two out. He got two in the back to back. So what's up next? What are we doing? I mean, there's, we're just doing another one for the. the Look at this. Just trying to get Sally to win. It's not about winning the war, right? It's about winning the battles or something. So all or nothing. It's for the whole enchilada. The whole enchilada, all of it. All the whole enchilada. All of it. Uh, <laughs> That's it! That's it! I think that was the lunch. Huh? It doesn't want to go into gear. Oh, okay. Okay, Sally. I think I might have just popped the lunch. Yeah. You might have went on the mechanical. I told him not to do it! <laughs> wow. When scumbagging goes wrong, does this happen right now? Oof. Uh oh. The scumbagging backfired. I think it might have broke. But, but, Sally won the whole enchilada. Yeah, that was all or nothing, so yeah. she won. Yeah. But that makes sense if it broke. Well, yeah, exactly. It's the problem if it broke, but it's drag racing, so mechanical happen. He's thinking maybe the clutch might have what, had it here. I mean, it's like. Oh, I think I think the clutch just got The clutch just slipped? Yeah, I think oh, okay. so. That's like nothing. Because he just let it pull off. Well, I he hope was, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he drove it forward and backwards, so that's... Yeah, it looks fine. Maybe it check, all the, any noise. check all the stubs and the lifts or something. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to give you a high five anyways, because you won the whole enchilada. It might be a real yeah, bummer, but it doesn't matter. We're going to... No. You take the win. Take awesome. the win. That's it. It's drag racing. I knew. I didn't want to launch it. Race smarter, not harder. Okay. That's, That's going to hurt. Right. <laughs> Listen. There you go. That's some real housewives. Yeah, that was interesting how that no, came out. some F1 shit. Don't they race like sissies like that where they got to take their oh, time? Oh, and... man. You've been hanging out with BJ a lot. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It's not off-road or all-wheel drive. I don't like it. Yep. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Vinny had to go take care of some business stuff. He's becoming that guy now. So, let's go see what's going on with uh, our guests. See the status of their vehicles. And see if they're gonna go racing this weekend. Do you want me to sit down the wing and see it's a wrap? <laughs> sure. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Well, what's like? What's going on with the car? What's the plan? Um, we made a phone call. Luckily, our good friends at ACT are gonna help us out. New clutch, pressure plate, flywheel. Ken is on his way to Lancaster right now to get it before 4:30. Oh. Yeah. Good thing he's crazy. Our plan is to just tow to the track. Maybe get lucky if it cooled off by then. If not, as soon as it gets off the trailer, we're ripping the tranny out of it tonight. So, and then tomorrow's the big event. So, shame on me for screwing off. But I mean, I guess it looked cool. But it looked the, awesome. The important thing is tomorrow and, and Friday to try to set a track record and kick some ass. So, odds are against us. We'll see how it goes. Well, thanks again for coming out, yeah. and making that happen. Yep. Yep. Thanks, bud. Actually, high fives. What are we doing? I got, I got lost here. Ah, man. I guess with that, everyone, that is a wrap. Taylor about the fucking flex.